Oh, 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 my goodness, you're getting so big. You're getting so big. Oh, I think this is gonna be this. <laughs> Just ignored an Ollie. This is very close to my face. This is my husband's tripod, so clearly, I don't, whoa. Oh. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. The time that it's recorded, it's taking me two minutes just to get this set up. And people wonder why I'm not vlogging as much as I used to. As much as I used to. It's because I'm snuggling. I'm so busy snuggling. Isn't that right? Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Oh, my battery's dying. Sometimes I wonder when things like this happen if it's like a sign that I just shouldn't be vlogging. Okay, so the second battery I put in only had two bars of charge left, which I just had a feeling was not accurate. <laughs> so I plugged that one in. The one that was dying also plugged that one in because I do have two chargers. This one says it's a full battery, so we're just gonna go with it. At the time of filming this, I'm 37 weeks and like four, three or four days pregnant so I'll be 38 weeks really soon just had my final growth scan for baby girl so everything is looking good she is still completely breech and I knew this like even in the first trimester just with my intuition her coming to me in my dreams and revealing her name and all that to me because I she picked it and also just knowing that it was going to be a cesarean birth it's just something that I knew from the first trimester that this this was how it, it was going to go down which honestly I'm you know however it's going to happen is how it's going to happen and just with some of the things that have happened between her size her still being completely breech because it is very hard for them to intervene and turn a large baby. Um, and then also just some other health things like GBS and things like that. It's just funny how, how that information, I've had that information, I've been able to sit with that information for a while. We have her C-section, and I guess you could call it an elective C-section. We have that date all scheduled and everything, um, which does give, give us some peace of mind because just with the kiddos and everything like that and just having such a full household being able to kind of make plans <laughs> is actually really really helpful for us and for our lifestyle so one of the things that i'm really grateful that i did during this pregnancy because i know that my content has been has been really on and off over the past year <laughs> but really like over these past nine months one of the things I'm really grateful that I did was to keep my pregnancy private. And props to all of those mamas-to-be and expectant mamas who post about all the things on TikTok and um, just talk so openly about everything because even though I'm quite strong-willed and I trust my intuition, it's crazy how people will have such an opinion on your body and your birth plan and your your life and your little one's life right like there are just so many opinions um, from strangers and people who will just comment and as strong-willed as you might be as much as you might trust in your intuition those comments and things like that they can start to influence you. They can start to destabilize you and your mind in a way where you're starting to question like is this actually the right path for me? Is this, should I be trying to do something else? Should I be, be doing everything in my power to have this kind of birth, right? So again, props to those expectant mamas, those pregnant women out there who are just, you know, <laughs> documenting their whole journey online on social media. That is just not something that I wanted to do I wanted to have a very private pregnancy and I feel like for the most part I did I feel like I've shared some things um, but again the fact that I knew that it would be a cesarean birth back in the first trimester that's not something that 
that I've ever mentioned. And I'm sure there's gonna be a comment on here about someone saying, well, you could do this and this, and you should really try to, you know, have a have a, a vaginal delivery and da-da-da. And again, opinions, right? Like, those are your opinions. This is just something that I have known for a really long time, and I trust it. I trust I trust the guidance. I trust the intuition. And with everything that's come back between her being completely breached and the GPS testing and just the, her size, like it, here we are, here we are, right? So any expectant mamas out there, mamas to be, I just want to hopefully encourage you to trust your intuition and to do what is best for you and baby because at the end of the day that's all that matters it doesn't matter what your family thinks it doesn't matter what anybody thinks if you if you feel in your bones that something is right for you and baby then that's that's what you have to go with your intuition is so so strong for women i truly believe it is our superpower our intuition so trust it even if you know i've had other family members who've kind of just with the way that they've talked about things um almost it felt like they were trying to influence me to to do something or to go another way or uh i don't know so again people everyone's gonna have their their own opinions and their own commentary and thinking that they're helping but really sometimes like you just need to mind your own business and let people do let people do what they're gonna do and trust that they they know their bodies and they know what is best that is my rant for the introduction of this vlog and i also did get some uh comments which were kind of surprising some dms on instagram from a few people just saying that um, normally they follow me for writing content excuse me reflux for writing content or for spiritual content and uh that they've actually really liked seeing the little snippets of my pregnancy that I've shared are just little pregnancy type things. So I know that it's not for everyone. I know that it's not the reason why a lot of people uh, subscribe to my channel and things like that, which is also another reason it just didn't really make sense to suddenly go like full on into like pregnancy focused vlogs. And again, with me just wanting to have, wanting to be pregnant in private and just enjoy this time and see what it was all about and not feel any pressure and not <laughs> wear myself out and again use my energy wisely right um that was definitely the best the best decision for me but since we are literally like two weeks away from her birth i realized that there were some videos that i wanted to put together and the really cool thing about this this time for me especially over the past couple of years in stepping into my divine feminine dark feminine as well as that manifestor energy is doing what i want to do because i want to do it <laughs> and not really caring if it's if it's something that um other people necessarily want to see like i am so done with the people pleaser era it's it's not even funny i don't even know how i did that for so long i think it was just um an autopilot type thing to be totally honest i was so used to functioning in that way great example side note side tangent i was at kroger today and i was picking up some ingredients for dinner because i'm making butter chicken in the crock pot so i just had to pick up a couple of things and i'm heading to the self-checkout and there's this man standing over by the like the help desk and he had like a clipboard and everything he looked like all professional like he was going to take a survey or something and I'm walking to the self-checkout and he's like, excuse me, ma'am, how are you today? And I was like, oh, I'm good, how are you? And he's like, good, thank you. And I was like, have a nice day. And he's like, if I could. And I turned to him and I rubbed, I like put my hand on my stomach and I was like, I have to go. And just kept walking. <laughs> like there was no like sorry or oh, or like listening, listening to his spiel, like whatever he wanted to get out. There was none of that. It was just have a great day like hi like i'm pregnant and like no like I'm, i i don't have time for this again i need to use my energy wisely <laughs> because i only have so much of it and at that moment i needed to get the groceries in the car in a hundred degrees sweltering heat and drive home so i could get them in the crock pot in time for dinner that's like it's so crazy uh just being pregnant because again the people pleaser 
in me was starting to leave like a year and a half ago it is completely gone like I just don't I don't feel bad anymore for just doing what I need to do um, and I'll be as polite as I can but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit around and listen to something that I don't that that I'm not going to end up being involved with anyway whatever pitch he had whatever survey whatever thing he was doing cool find the next person there are gonna be plenty of people shopping at Kroger for the rest of the day <laughs> but I'm pregnant and I'm not doing that anyways it's really like the the unapologetic era but uh, back to what I was saying so I realized that there were some videos that I wanted to film before baby girl gets here because and again they're mostly more so for me but also if it helps someone out there who's who's pregnant or just got pregnant who has been pregnant anything like that um, Hopefully they'll be helpful in some way, shape, or form. So I've been talking about the nursery and doing like a reveal and a walkthrough and all of that. So I'm pretty sure that's what this video is going to be. And I think I'm gonna break up the three to four videos that I would like to do for this little pregnancy series. So we're just gonna have a mini pregnancy series of videos again if this is not your thing and you don't want to watch them that's totally fine if you do want to watch them because you're just you're curious or you want to be supportive or you're also pregnant or whatever your reason might be it's you know whatever floats your boat that's fine so i want to give a tour of the nursery because it's finally done except for hanging the the shelves and the two little pictures but all the furniture is here it's all assembled it's all put together uh, her name is on the wall so that's something i'm going to blur out because i still am not a hundred percent sure if i i'm not a hundred percent sure like i i want to reveal her name but i've been thinking a lot about kids and their digital footprint and a lot of these like mommy vloggers and things like that um that's something that's been weighing pretty pretty heavily on my mind so i also want to do a video that is packing my hospital bag with me because it's different if you are going to have a c-section so a lot of the videos like that i was looking through on tiktok there are just different things <laughs> required if you are you know if you're delivering vaginally but if you are having a c-section there are just some other there's some things that i didn't even think about because you're going to have this incision right like this scar and you don't want things pressing up against that i thought about potentially doing like a nest with me video although i feel like the nesting has been very sporadic and again when i have the energy because that's the other thing is so hard to pick up the camera and like set it up and get the footage that that I need because by the time I do that I already want to sit down and not do the thing that I was going to do yeah getting the nesting footage especially because that's a lot of cleaning and organizing and all of that it has been best for me to just just do it without filming it and then I'd also like to film a video uh, talking about postpartum goals or like a routine or postpartum schedule something in that that area as well as how I'm going to try or attempt to continue with my my writing and business and and projects and things like that so I do plan on taking a maternity leave and my husband's taking a paternity leave so we'll have that you know we'll have that time but just knowing myself and knowing the way that I work and uh, finally having a lot of these like pregnancy hormones and all of this stuff leaving my body I know it takes a while to start to feel like yourself again um, I've had a fairly simple and and easy and smooth pregnancy so I'm thinking we'll see <laughs> that the recovery is going to be similar to that it may not be I don't know but I would like to at least have something outlined for myself in terms of my what my postpartum goals are and again, just more of a routine, a schedule, which I know is is kind of impossible with a newborn because they're really the ones leading the way with the feedings and everything like that. But it's something I want to at least attempt. And we'll, you know, plans can be changed. They can be finagled a little bit. So, yeah. We'll see how much I can get filmed and up before her 
um, before the C-section date, before her birthday. Without further ado, let's go into the nursery. What do you think about that? You wanna go into the nursery and do a tour? Okay, let's go. Okay, so here is the nursery reveal. And I'm gonna keep it kind of low here. So, cause her name is up there. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it kind of low to the ground because I'm not revealing her name just yet. And if I do happen to get it, I'll probably try to blur it out and whatnot. But this is what we have got going on in this room. So, uh, where to start? I guess we can start right here. <laughs> so this is the cloud baby bassinet. And obviously right now it's in here because baby girl is not here yet, but it will be moved into the master bedroom and it fits snug right up against the bed. So that is perfect. So that is where she is going to sleep. This little basket was for a fig tree that is currently outside. It's not doing so well. <laughs> so there was a plant in there. Uh, I don't know, we might be using the basket for something else. I'm so happy this came early because it actually wasn't supposed to get here until mid-July and I was thinking, oh geez, she might be here before then. Uh, <laughs> but this is actually a Lazy Boy recliner and rocker. So it's not, it's not like a, a specific baby rocker or a baby chair. But my biggest thing was I wanted something wide and comfortable and tall because my husband and I are both quite tall. So I wanted to make sure that the chair was actually comfortable for us when we are, you know, feeding her and, and all of that. So I have my little bedside card, bedside, bedside, no, <laughs> I don't know what to call this, a uh, nursing cart, feeding supply cart. So that's something I need to stock. Maybe I'll do that in a little TikTok or a future YouTube video, something like that, because I do need to get that organized and ready to go. But I also got this lamp from Amazon. And what I love about this is it has three different settings. So I think this is the brightest one. And then whoop, it gets a little bit dimmer. And then for those like late night slash early morning feedings, it gets really really dim so this was a great investment it was not expensive at all and yeah so this is kind of the rocking feeding corner of the nursery we also have this really cute rug and i'm pretty sure yeah my husband put these this gripper on here so it doesn't slide but i'll make sure to link as much as i can in the description box below in case you were also decorating a nursery and you want any of this stuff. Moving over here, we have the closet. Originally, this did have double doors. We took the double doors off because I feel like just with holding her, it's just so much easier to access the closet. And I'm just crossing my fingers that we'll be able to keep it somewhat clean, somewhat organized. So I have her clothes here that have been washed. So I've washed all of these these little bins with like her socks and little shorts, some onesies. This is something my mom made her, actually sewed for her when she gets a little bit older, which is so cute. And then she made these matching shorts. My mom used to sew all of my clothes for <laughs> my sister and me when we were little. So I think that's awesome that she's picked it back up again. Um, this is a cute little dress that the kiddos actually picked out for their baby sister. So they got this for me for Mother's Day, which I thought was just the cutest thing. And then down here, I don't have much going on in these bins right now. So that's the mattress pad, so we gotta put that on there. I'm trying to see. Oh yes, we did get a Star Wars changing pad sheet because my husband loves Star Wars, but we have some sheets down there, but all of that has been washed. And let me see what else, what else, what else? Yeah, so not much down there, so that's just more for more things that we end up getting. 
her uh, diaper bag is up there as well as the boppy nursing pillow I just have some registry items and gifts that we got some of those are still up here I also have all of the warranty information in a little what is this called I don't know a little baggie just to keep it all organized all the manuals all the warranty information that kind of stuff and then over here is the hospital bag situation so I'm gonna save that for another video and then my mom and her husband so graciously gifted us both the crib as well as this soother swing rocker thingamabob but I'm really excited for this because I think she's really going to enjoy it it plays little tunes and it's got these cute little bears on it as well and then here is the crib that they also gifted us and we decided to go with the up a baby vista stroller as well as the up a baby car seat and the car seat is the mesa v2 so i just <laughs> as soon as we went to bye bye baby and i pushed this thing around i was like oh yes this is <laughs> this is the stroller for me it's super easy to collapse um it's pretty light pretty lightweight I will say that I like all of the storage space underneath here and I just like how big the wheels are as well. I feel like it turns really easily. It's so smooth. So that is the stroller that we have. And last but not least, we have the dresser, which there's a lot going on there. Obviously all of this is not gonna be, <laughs> not going to be up here. I need to put these plants outside. I don't think, I don't think they're getting enough sun in here, but this is, one of the shelves I found on Amazon. So it's like a little wooden shelf that I wanna put her books in. So we're probably gonna put that up this weekend as well as some little framed prints that I thought were really cute. And then the camera, like the baby monitor that we got is the Owlet. So it comes with a little sock. And then also we have the camera here. So that's something that we're probably also going to put up. Uh, if not this weekend, then the next weekend. And then as far as the drawers go, like this dresser is <laughs> definitely something that will grow with her. So up here we have the swaddles. Again, all of those have been washed. So swaddles, and then here are the burp cloths. So we have those here. And then, okay, so we start getting into the diaper organization. So we have the three to six month, zero to three month, and newborn onesies all organized in here. I got these little dividers on Amazon. Again, I will do my best to link everything below for you as well as have them in my Amazon storefront. That might be the, the easier way <laughs> to go. Otherwise, I'll be linking a lot of products. But I love how these dividers, like it's just nice because you can move them so you're not stuck with a particular size. So these are all of the onesies that we have. These are all of the newborn size diapers. So obviously we had some, I think I got some free ones somewhere, which is this middle section, cause we have a lot of these uh, Pampers ones, but I figured we'd go ahead and just use what we have. <laughs> and then some wipes as well as some more diapers. And there's really not much going on here I went ahead and put more dividers in. There's some little baskets. We have some pacifiers here. And again, just more dividers already put in here. So a lot of this is empty just because I, you would think I would want to oversupply or have like a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm just finding that it's, it's not necessary. And it's kind of like, I want to get things as we go, the things that we actually need and are going to use. So that is going to conclude the nursery tour slash, oh, that was Luna. <laughs> She's upset. She's upset that she can't come in here, at least not yet. Uh, but that's going to conclude the nursery tour and walk through. So I hope that you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope that it was helpful if you are also expecting or you're planning on having a baby sometime in the near future. I'm gonna leave you here and I will see you in my next video. <clears throat> I don't know which one it's going to be. It's probably going to be the pack my hospital bag with me 
video, but you'll see whatever, whenever it goes live. Bye.